Okay, I was... Please? Holy shit, it only required the complete restart of my entire computer and then follow that by the entire re-download um, of Discord. Holy fucking shit. Like, you have no idea. I've been at this for 45 fucking minutes and holy fuck, that was so much fucking work. Why the fuck didn't it work in the fucking first place? What the fuck? Now to do the fucking intro. I'm your fucking host, Michael. We have our fucking co-host, Jalen. Our fucking new ass fucking guest, Gavin, who's never been here before, who's dirt for life and he's a fucking crackhead, but he doesn't actually do crack, he's just like whack. And then there's and then their fucking returning guest, fucking Ariel, who you've fucking seen before, and everyone here has watched JoJo, so this is gonna be kind of a fucking JoJo special. Fuck. That's a big fucking dick. Oh. Co-host, would like to apologize. No. Um, our, our, our amazing host has been trying for the past forty-five minutes to get the stream on, so he's a little bit meh. So, instead of for those of you who have seen our podcast before, I'm gonna be the nice one today. Yeah, it's because Ronnie's not here. You're right, but see, we're never gonna see Ronnie again, so it's okay. Why did you kill him? No, he's in Kenya. I mean, I know Kenya. that, but the joke was there for the taking. No, no, my joke was. Kenya will kill him. I don't ah. need to do a thing. Ah. 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 No. Okay. This is where I die. I have to punch a 1v2 and I'm not. And I wasted all of my luck punching a 1v3. I have. Yeah, you I've have to push one. two rounds to get that. This is taken already. This. This. <laughs> I was like. I <sighs> You don't know the pain of trying to, to, to knife someone and fail. Gavin, I think your mom is calling you. I really hope not, because that would be unfortunate that the second this podcast starts, it ends. Probably wouldn't be the first time, but, you know, still. Okay. Um. Yes. So, I guess, in game-related news, as you, as you didn't hear because this podcast didn't start and was 45 minutes fucking late, um, yeah, so Rainbow Six is having a Wild Wild West-related event right now, so, yeah, that's interesting, and Ariel got a cowboy for Maestro, so I feel like we're gonna start seeing a lot more Maestro mains simply because of the ability to have cowboy hats. And in rip, and in channel related news, um, yes, so I have gotten several new games, which we will now be playing on stream eventually. Uh, so far, the ones that actually fucking work are My Hero Academia One's fucking Justice, uh, Metal Gear's Rising fucking Revenge, and um, Sunset Overdrive. Uh, yeah, so I guess. If people have opinions, which is the internet, so fucking course they do, uh, state which one you would like to see first, and if no one votes like normal, uh, I'll just fucking decide for myself and go, you know what, I didn't want your opinion anyways, even though I do want your opinion, but you guys are, unlike the rest of the internet, seem to be completely set on not sharing it, which is really weird, and sometimes I wish people would take, you know, be like that in real life, but they're not. Now I feel like I've been monologuing for too long, so someone else fucking say something. <laughs> what? I don't know. Why not just get Maestro? Oh, lit. I'm gonna get Maestro next.
So, you know what's something that never happens? What? Someone dodging the emerald splash. <laughs> Um. <laughs> what? Emerald Splash actually being usable? Oh, shit. First of all, you know <laughs> Well, you know what this is gonna ha- You know what never happens? Kakumi never using that painting thing again. Damn it, I was gonna say, like, since we're talking about JoJo's, we're just gonna- We're just gonna have, like- we're just kind of a new bit called, you know what never happens? Uh, well, no, not even to necessarily JoJo, just specifically JoJo for this episode, but it's just going to be a new bit called, you know what never happens? The Emerald Splash hitting. You know what else never happens? Kakuin using the paint attack. You know what also never happens? Starfinger. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, forgot. <laughs> you you, you know what never happens? Abdul using Magician's Bread to make more shackles. You know what also never happens? Iggy dying oh, because... Being a good person. I mean, that too, but also... Fucking... Uh, like, low-key spoilers, but like... Come on, at this point, like... Fucking fight me, or like... Click off this podcast, go watch the entire sh show... Up through part 5, and then come back. If you haven't already seen JoJo's, we're gonna be talking about it for like the next 20 minutes. Because there's a lot of dumb shit in there. You know what else never happens... Iggy not dying because Silver Chariot supposedly can't lift a human's weight because um, JP Polnareff took damage to his legs and couldn't stand up and walk over. But then in part five, he's under attack and because he got his legs and arm cut off, he's supposed to have his stand weakened. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh no, I'm in danger. Silver Chariot, yeet me into the sky like you apparently couldn't do like two years ago. What if, what if he trained? Well, yeah, but they said it physically got weaker because he got almost fucking murdered. So I don't give a shit how much you trained. You're not going to get past where you were. I'm pretty sure he's just like a fucking coward and was like, well, I mean, I'd really love to save you, but I guess Iggy will just have to take one for the team. And Iggy was like, well, fuck that, man. And then Dio was like, well, you know what? Fuck you. You know what probably happened? He was about to save Iggy, and then Araki said, no, you have to let the dog die. That is the golden rule of JoJo. Oh, wait, I forgot, Iggy. I I forgot. He's a dog. Of course he's going to fucking die. You know what's never going to happen? Another fight with Purple Haze. And when Sega Productions decides to animate... The OVA. Um, oh, cool. I've just been voted out of the match. It, yeah, it, it's because, like, he's too fucking overpowered. Like, if he could just chop off his hand... Like, yeet it at, um, King Crimson, and then just have Giorno grow him another hand, so that the stand hand breaks the capsule, and it's like, it doesn't matter how much time you erase, you're still fucking infected, die you fuck. They're like, well shit, we can't have that. Quick, I don't know, make him fucking quit the team or some ass shit. No, a lot of it was gonna be, um, they were gonna have Fugo uh, actually yeah, end up becoming a team. Um, you charge them? But then they're like, nah, see, that's too much. That's too much for yeah, them to handle. No, Araki was originally gonna have Fugo betray Bruno in the end, but, uh, sometimes when he was trying to do it, he got betrayed by his own friend. And he's like, no, I'm, I'm just gonna not do that to you boys. So yeah, and then Fugo was never meant to be ending, so Purple Haze saved, Purple Haze from that team. So, see, we know that uh, Mista and Trish are going to swap their bodies back, but... What if they had to live the rest of their lives like that? I don't fucking even want to fucking think about it. That sounds like the funniest thing, because, Michael, did you see the video I sent you of, like, them making a mm. copy of, like, um, Mista and Trish's body swap? No, you never sent me that. Did I? Oh my god. One second. Ah. So. You had one job, and you're a failure at it. At this point, it's going to turn out that Golden Wind Requiem's a dog stand. Oh, fuck! Run! <laughs> Golden Wind Requiem turns into a, turns into a dog. <laughs> so if... Wait, wait, if Deadpool got a stand, it would just be the ability to turn 
stands into dogs, but because he's fourth, he's self-aware and can break the fourth wall, he's like, if I turn them in, they're like, why the fuck would you use your ability to turn them into dogs if they still have the exact same amount of intelligence? And then Deadpool just turns the camera and goes, because you and I know a ro what a Rocky's least favorite animal is. And then it's just going to be like, out of fucking nowhere, a train hits a bus, which hits a bicycle into a road roller onto that person, and then they get impaled by rebar. And it's like, oh my god, that's the most horrific death I've ever seen. I'm like, and then Deadpool's just like, there you go again, Rocky. <laughs> Proving wait, why wait, my wait. stand is the strongest. Back, back up one second. Let's imagine for a second that a bicycle hitting a road roller no, no, is no, enough no, to no, make no, it move. No, no, no. Well, okay, like, I didn't say it had to hit it to bump it off. What if it hit it and the hit was making the key start and it's already, like, driving off a cliff and they're under the cliff, but just, like, the bike hit it so it turned on. Or the guy sees the bike coming for it so he turns on the road roller, but it turns out the bike hit was just enough to do that 1% extra damage that fucked the steering system, so now it's going off a cliff onto a bunch of dogs. And then fucking Keanu Reeves turn, pull, comes out of nowhere and goes, not on my watch, and he has a stand too, and then it's just like the road roller scene. Stand the road roller scene from um, Stardust Crusaders is just like Deadpool's stand that turns people into dog, punching the road roller on one side, oh. and then John Wick, which is... Um, well, actually, I feel like... I feel like if... Keanu Reeves has a stand, it would be Guns and Roses, and instead of doing Aura, 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 it would be shooting a gun. So his stand is just a stand that holds an M16 with infinite ammo, and it's just them shooting. So it's like, Keanu Reeves is doing an Aura, Aura with bullets pushing up, and then Deadpool's stand is doing like a Muda Muda, but with like katanas on the bottom, and yeah. I think I just Which only makes it better because Deadpool is a Japanese dub of Marvel Heroes Disc Wars is played by Dio Smith Factor. Making this the most perfect rendition. Someone go get right, some Dave fucking like someone get some fucking like voice actors and make this a thing. So that someone can animate it. There's talented people on the internet. You know who would be down for this? Patrick Sight, the English dub of Dio. Yeah, now we just need to get, like, Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Keanu Reeves and Matt Mercer. You're breathtaking. No, you're breathtaking. You're yeah, all no, breathtaking. And the guy who yelled breathtaking got offered a free copy of the game by Keanu Reeves, and he fucking turned it down. Fucking dumbass. When Keanu Reeves asks if you want a free game, you say, fuck yes. Because I get the feeling low-key Keanu Reeves might have also, like, signed it, and he just didn't know that. So he could have had the only version of Cyberpunk 2077 signed by fucking Keanu Reeves, and he fucking took that and went, no, I don't fucking want it. And everyone looked at him and went, are you a fucking idiot? <laughs> The entire internet looked at him and went, are you fucking retarded? Also, I will point out that internet has pro proven my point yet again by, uh, again, not voting. I said, which game do you want me to play through first? And you, you, you didn't do anything. Come on, guys. This is the internet. You're supposed to be, like, super pissy about expressing your opinions. Also, peep, I, I don't mean to alarm you, but people who think Stardust Crusader humans are look like actual humans, you don't fucking exist. If you think Stardust Crusader look, makes humans look like humans, you're a fucking nut job. And you don't fucking exist. Well, you're not a nut job because you don't exist, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Showdown. I'm just
You see, everyone thought the boss G was the best knife rifle in the game, but then Kaiyage showed up and was like, well, no, fuck you. So again, I will now reiterate this again. So, you know, there's new games. It, it, people, we can either play My Hero, Academia, One's Justice. I'm bad at typing. Uh, Sunset Overdrive. Or, last but not least, uh, I, oh yeah, Metal Gear RR, which is super fucking metal, like, giant mechs metal, even more metal than, like, Aaron Yeager yelling about how he's gonna kill all the titans. Like, for real. Co-host. Oh, well, he's fucking dead. Furious controller clicking in the background. Because I guess, why the fuck not? But seriously, like, why did they, they... Like, Iraqi forgets a lot of stuff. Like, why did they bother... Well, yeah, but why the fuck would he bother, like, why, logically speaking, why the fuck would anyone bother, like, trying to, like, My question is if they got like why did they like oh they spent so many years digging up all the rest of the arrowheads because they didn't want any more people getting stands when you literally could have just fucking had like Josuke run up find all of the arrow shafts and be like okay now repair and then just have them like find it that way like what what, what the fuck happened to Josuke like after they fucking obliterated the man known as Kira with an ambulance. He just disappeared out of existence. Like, what happened to Koichi? He was in Golden Wind, and then they're like, oh, you thought these people were returning characters? No, fuck you. I think he was only there to just, like, show off Giorno. Because, I think out of everyone there, I think, um, Echoes actually was kind of one of the more OP stands. So they wanted to show, like, how, wow, Echoes actually is even kind of stumped by this guy. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, N so people say that the reason Koichi went was because Jotaro really uh, valued his safety. Like, so Koichi saved Jorno so then Jotaro was like, all right, then I trust you. And it also goes to show off how Jorno Also, I want to point out if that if they enter if they took Koichi into the gang, they could have fucking murdered uh, King Crimson in an instant. If he fucking if he. Like if they put a Echoes Act Three. Like three freeze on the hands of King Crimson and made it so that his hands sunk into the ground like they did Kira. Then Mr. would literally be like, Ah, oh, your hands, which you used to deflect bullets, are now gone. And because you're physically incapable of moving now, you can't, doesn't, it, it doesn't matter how much time you erased, you're still gonna fucking die. Six pistols blow the, turn this motherfucker into Swiss cheese. And then he'd be dead. Everything Michael says destroys a story because it removes all tension if you solve the issue quickly. 
Okay, it's not my fucking fault that, like, you give me seven chess pieces and one enemy to defeat, I could probably find, like, 12 different ways to fucking murder this dude. Yep. I am. Old pineapple slices. Fucking pineapple. Because the way it was handled, it felt just like Abdol. Like, that was out of the blue, unnecessary, just so you could have a higher choice. Abdol will turn around and die. Abdol turns around and dies. Oh. Also, again, I want to keep asking this question to everyone. Why the fuck are there pineapple slices on Narancia's shoes? Because he wants to have pineapple slices, okay? Okay, but see, if it was orange, then Michael, the thing that we already discussed, then it would have been Arancha, which is just Italian for orange. We'll put orange slices on his fucking shoes, not pineapple slices. Pineapples don't make any fucking sense. Not because Arancha is the feminine way of doing it. So, have you seen these dudes' eyelashes? I don't give a shit. Yes, he is the ultimate trap of them. Also, I'm pretty sure that, like, the most... I want to point out that, like, whoever the fuck sells brooches to Jorno is making a fucking killing. Like, he uses, like, seven of those with Golden Wind's ability, like, every episode. No, but my thing is, how many hands has everyone had ripped off in the span of Golden Wind? Like, now I gotta go back and count each time. So you're telling me Golden Wind's ability is ra Golden ability- at gold at that 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 Golden experiences stand ability is rather handy. I mean, okay. also part, f like, also like part four wouldn't have happened because while he was like, he could have literally just turned the button from immediately after uh, Shingechi died into like a fucking butterfly and be like, go find that bitch hiding in a corner and they'd be like, found the bitch in the corner and then he'd never change his face and then they'd just kick down his door and be like, bitch, get out of the corner. Crazy Diamond and uh, Star uh, fucking Star Platinum are here to obliterate your ass. Yay. 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 The thing that the fact that Kira died makes me laugh because Kira means diamond in Japanese and diamond is unbreakable, but apparently it is not uncrushable. Well, so. you see, it's unbreakable, but when you shoot it and then hit it with a fucking ambulance, it's very breakable. Also, diamonds very susceptible to heat and then just break them. So well, that and too. diamonds have a Mohs scale of hardness of ten because we're mildly educational. However, because of their fact that they're pure carbon, their fractal fractal pattern is very susceptible to um, breaking. Because essentially, it's like a Lego house where you, if you just put every brick on top of a brick, where it's like it's very hard but its durability is not very high because of the fact that the way the like crystal lattices interline that if you hit it like straight on or straight on the side so horizontally or vertically you could probably break it pretty easily because fucking fractal patterns because we're mildly educational here well we say we are no we are I didn't say we're family friendly, but we are educational. This is definitely not family friendly. Okay. Well, it might be if, you know, I don't know, found a way to censor all of the like 40 fucks. No, not even yeah, 40, like 200. Yes, like the. I would break that bot. Yeah, but then every time you try to say fun, it would like sleep and 
Well, if it just turned every F... I don't know. It would be funny, because if, like, someone just walked up to me and said, if you can give me, like, a random scenario I will, with a number count, I will give you that many dollars, I'll just be like, oh, you will give me... If I can come up with a random scenario, you'll give me that many dollars. Uh, well, my random scenario is you give me the amount of money for every... You give me one dollar for every fuck I said on Tangent Talk. And then it'll just be like, the Joseph Joestar pose. It'd be like, haha, got you there. Because if I had a dollar for every time I said fuck on Tangent Talk, I would be saying fuck a lot less often because I would have extreme amounts of money. And every th all of my hopes and dreams for this channel would be able to be realized because the technological difficulties that we fail with not everyone having a PC would be solved rather quickly if I had that much money. Yeah, and then we could do, like, I don't know, murder. Uh, Gmod murder in a group. And it, it... And that would be hilarious. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Ariel, I got my collection thing. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna see what I get. Okay, to re to do a brief summary of the thing that we thought we said in the podcast, but turns out the podcast wasn't happening because the stream was committing utter communism. Uh, I will now point out that as Ariel apparently learned for the first time, so one of the do's and don'ts of being a streamer is unless you're directly talking about World War II or the Cold War, or I don't know, technically, don't technically. Or Undertale, don't put genocide in the title of your stream. Just don't. He died in hardcore mode. Why did you die in hardcore mode? Because fucking, for some reason, sand is allowed to spawn in, floating, and then it can be updated so that it falls. But it can also happen around ravines. So you can try to build a bridge across a fucking ravine, and then update the sand, and then you fall into the fucking ravine like a dumbass and die. Fucking... So, I, I hope I get a hat. Ooh, it's been like an epic or rare. It's an epic. Let's see what I get. And just like the first podcast, we talked about. And just like the first podcast, apparently we have to start off talking about genocide for some fucking reason. It's bad. Don't do it. Yep. Also, I played some my of the My Hero Academia ones justice so I could learn the controls. Whoever made the original control design, all I have to say to you is, if you thought that was a good fucking button layout, you don't. You're a fucking communist. Like, so move is W S D, yeah, W S D, but like attack was J K L O P. X. Yeah. It makes no sense. Well, yeah, but it only works with PS4 and Xbox One, and I have neither, so I've just learned to live with it. And apparently, I... Well, yeah, but it only works with... PlayStation 4 controllers and Xbox One controllers, which I have neither of. I, I can get you one for like $50. Like, it's gonna be like a cheap, uh, off-brand, no, it's not off-brand, like a cheap brand controller that you only get for like a year. I, no thanks, it, it's whatever, I'll deal with the communistic button layout. I mean, you can, but with... The problem with fighting games and with control and with like keyboard and mouse is there aren't any like good we button layouts for fighting games because you have movement for w <laughs> for WSD. Also, Kaminari is apparently, as far as I could tell out of like the three characters I've played, 
the most comboable motherfucker of all time. I got to a 130 hit combo with him. You heard it here first. Ariel hates Suyu. No, I don't hate Suyu. I hate Suyu in the game. I know. Also, eventually we'll play Assassin's Creed Syndicate, the last true Assassin's Creed in my eyes. But that's after GeForce Now fixes their fucking glitch, where if you open Uplay in it, it asks for authentication codes that you don't have. But yeah, I guess if no one's gonna 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 vote for for what we're doing next, yes. My Hero Academia, Once Justice, Sunset Overdrive, or Metal Gear RR. Opinions, people. Use them. In stream. Also, where the fuck did Jalen go? Our pod, our co-host just did a bamboozled. Do I just, do I just type it in? Yeah, just type it in. Yep. We have one vote for my Hirak. I mean, I'm also asking the viewers, but the viewers aren't, like, doing shit. So, I guess this will just work. Are there any more people watching? Yeah, one person watching. Who knows? Heck, I might even play Halo eventually because Microsoft decided that they were sick of being uh, greedy bastards and have decided to give Steam uh, the entire Master Chief collection. So that'll be interesting. Halo on PC for the first fucking time. And I wonder if there's a way to add, con like, keyboard. Because, like, you can get a controller to play PC games on. But can you put keyboard and mouse on a console? Because I want, if there's a way to do that, I want to do that. Then I don't. Yeah. Oh, Crimson Weeb's back. Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Obligatory music references. <laughs> you left again. Well, that was whack. Oh. Oh, nice. I injured someone. I just randomly C4, low key broken, and I hate it. So, like, apparently C4 is supposed. C4 through, like, destructible surfaces counts. But if it's an indestructible surface, the explosion isn't supposed to kill you. <laughs> but I was on the top of, um... I was... Uh, I was on the top of Fortress and someone fucking c 4 me from below and I'm like, how the fuck does that work? No, I don't want to. Also, Gavin, are we going to do that crafting competition? Because Ariel is, in fact, actually infamously, infamously known for not knowing how to craft jack shit in crafting menus. Oh, and I have... Because I play consoles. I have to take my dogs out of the table because of that. No, it's not because you play consoles. Because you don't use classic craft. Fucking nerd. Only two Minecraft players play classic crafting. And I used to play Minecraft like a motherfucker. But I haven't played it in like th three years, so it'll be interesting to see whether I remember more or he does. So yeah, 
We're low key turning this into a game show. Podcast turns into a game show. I mean, there's no reason we can't have a podcast game show. But yes, it will be interesting to see, like, uh, what's going to happen with Golden Wind. True. When will we be able to see Golden Experience Requiem? Probably in, like, three episodes. With, well, like, within the next two episodes. Because I'm pretty sure there's going to be at least one more episode of... Oh no, Diavolo's got it. How the fuck am I going to yaeet this bitch and clutch the round and get this motherfucker? Wait, speaking of that, I want to... Oh, wait, do you have, uh... No, you don't... Do you have premium? Premium what? Uh, for like, man, the bet. Oh, wait, do, you can watch the new episodes right when they come out, right? Yeah. Well, that's because you have premium, Mario, but go ahead. Okay, so, Gavin, what's the first... Oh, the first crafting recipe, yes, yes. Okay, guys, well, welcome to, uh, the, 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 the competition. Ariel is a, Ariel is a dumbass, so I don't think she should be talking about that. <laughs> True, yeah, let's just call it that. Okay, um, so the first crafting recipe that I'm gonna tell y'all is, how do you create a redstone repeater? A repeater? Uh, I want to say, like, a bottom layer is the one by three horizontal line of stone, and then left and right middle layers are uh, a redstone torch, and then the middle is a redstone. But I'm grasping at straws because I don't remember. So wait, what, what was that again? Bottom layer stone, smooth stone, and then, like, left and right. Or, um, redstone torches, and then the middle piece is redstone. Congratulations, Michael, you got it. Wait, what? Yep, you got it. Two redstone oh. torches on the side, the bottom layer is stone, and the middle is redstone. Holy fuck, I actually got it. I was now, guessing. <laughs> I guess I get one point. Oh, I just got an, I just got a mini. How do you create a dispenser? Fucking mine. Okay. That's because you're not a super fast gamer. I want to say just to make a U out of iron. Sorry, but that's not it. I have no idea. Does it have. Wait. Don't you need a dispenser? Like a. Oh, wait. Wait, no, no. Dispenser, not hopper. Dispenser. Uh, like, I'm guessing it's gonna be like a uh, O out of stone and then like a redstone in the middle. There's more than just stone and redstone. Okay, I have no idea. Yeah. I was, that's what I was gonna say, but I'm like, no, that's wrong. I think. Well, I guess zero points for Ariel, one for me. Stop asking fucking redstone questions. We don't fucking know. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, well, well. Okay. How do you create a hopper? God damn it. <laughs> No fucking clue. Make a U out of iron. Out of, it's a U out of iron. Yes, and? Redstone in the middle? Fuck if I know. I'm assuming it's a U out of iron with... <laughs> Wait, I, is it, it's either redstone or like uh, a dispenser in the middle. We don't fucking know.
That's an donut out of wood. Oh, yeah, you're still, first, you're, yeah. oh, you're still talking about iron, uh, about the hopper. I, I heard wood and I said, you, I heard chest, so I gave you the crafting recipe for a chest. <laughs> okay, no fucking clue. Uh, I guess one, one, one and one. Okay, so one and one. The first one killed for five wins. Okay, how do you create a banner? Uh, I'm guessing a two by three, uh, vertically of wool. Uh, I don't know sticks. <laughs> yep. So it's two by two. So it's wool, two by two, and then oh. Two by two by. It's one by two. No 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 no. It's two vertically and three diagonally. Huh. Well, no, not diagonal. I mean horizontally. So it's there's three on the two, the top two rows. Okay. And then. So I guess Michael got it, yeah. So two to yeah. one, take that Ariel. I'm guessing, cause I don't know <laughs> shit. Right, so okay. Now, so okay. This is okay. A Ariel. Gotta think of something that is not challenging but also challenging. How do you create an ender chest? <laughs> Is there point stealing? I'd like to make a guess. Uh, let, let, Ar let Ariel try to answer first. Come on, Ariel, you got this. Let's see. I'll give you a hint. It has to do with an ender and a chest. <laughs> Very. Ariel? The world's most helpful help. We also need to come up with a title for the podcast. Is like Ariel gonna answer or not? What did you say? Wait, is, it, is Ariel saying something? I can't hear him if he is. I, I don't hear anything he's saying, or if he even is saying. See, Ariel, this is what we mean when we said that you, we couldn't hear you. It's not bullshit. <laughs> like, also the green thing is not lighting up, so your mic's not picking it up at all. Fucking commie, dumbass. This phone just sucks. This phone is doo, doo Oh, she's making noise. Oh, oh, is he gonna say the answer? Nope. <laughs> it went dead quiet again. Okay, Michael, would you like to answer? Uh, let me guess. Is it donut of wood with a eye vendor in the middle? Nah. What about an ender pearl? The eye vendor in the middle is correct, but it's not wood. I don't know, fucking obsidian? Yep. Holy shit. <laughs> Guessing no jutes. Even though it's from the game. Hi, hi, whatever the word. Yeah, it's, it's hiatus. Yeah. Okay. Now you, you but if you ask me how to craft an elytra, I'd be like, well, fuck you. How do you craft an elytra glider? You're a fucking communist. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, it appears Ariel has been assassinated. True. And then there were two. Kind of Silky. fun. Kind How of. How do you create an end rod? A what? An end rod. What the fuck is that? It was added with the end city update. What the fuck's an end city? The, si the city in the end. I don't know what the fuck that shit is. I don't know. Oh yeah. Also, Ariel, you missed your turn since you didn't answer. 
Michael well, got the point. Something was happening with my phone, you know. So yeah, well, too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. We're not yeah. saying it's your fault, but that's what happened. Dumbass. Okay, so how do you craft an end rod? This is for any of y'all to answer. Well, I don't fucking know, so Ariel. You're gonna have to answer. Well, not you, Michael. I only have a vague idea of what an end rod looks like. <clears throat> Very disappointed in you, Ariel. Everybody knows that shit sucks. Not disappointed in me. You're actually being very. Well, or, I don't Michael, fucking know. You Do you want to make a guess? Make a guess. That's what Michael's been doing. Of, of okay, right now I know there's like three materials that come from the end. So to make a stick out of them, one of them, I'm assuming you just put some of them in a line. There, Ariel, I gave you a hint. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. Like no, no, I'm gonna be what? completely honest. One of the items is built from another. What the fuck? Is it, is it like a, um, is it like a, a, a fucking, uh, gas eye? No. Can you drop gas here? No. No? Alright, then I'm You get them from the fire, boys. Oh, it's a blaze rod and like a lot. It's a blaze rod and... You're a fucking it's idiot. A rod and a different item. That comes from the end, I'm assuming. It, it, yes, it comes. The item comes from an end. I don't even know what this fucking item is, but I'm gonna make it the fucking guess of it's a blaze rod in the middle surrounded by end stone. Alright, I'm gonna tell you the answer. It's a blaze rod in the middle and the pop core scoot at the bottom. I don't even know what the fuck that is. What now? A pop chorus a, a pop what? chorus <laughs> You're making shit up. <laughs> this is what you get for that one. <laughs> Kevin, you can't expect us to answer these if you don't know what half of the fucking materials are. Like, I haven't played the game in two years. Like, the elytra was fucking new shit when I can't when I last played. That's it. This game is over. I fucking win. We we we're not playing this game anymore. We're not playing these games. Except for when you played so, two days ago. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Except for when I got the game again. Wait! A few months back. <laughs> I haven't played the game since fifth grade, except for all those times I've played the game since fifth grade. <laughs> well, a minute. Before, before, before this year, I haven't... Not counting the times I played this year, I haven't played since fifth grade, and that wasn't even the latest version of Minecraft, because... So as far <sighs> as I know, Do I, I got. Play? Can we play like music? No. <laughs> we'll, get we'll we'll get fucking copyright not striked. Money. Not that we're making money off of the. <laughs> because this podcast is brought to you by no one yet. Well. <laughs> Uh, due to a lack of a co-host and interruption via dogs, I suppose we could just cut this one short. And also all of the technical difficulties, I suppose. So, uh, any last words? So... Yeah, due to technical difficulties and Gavin's dogs being fucking crackheads, uh... No, it's just closing time. They're fucking done. So they're... They're done. They're crackheads because of the delivery guy. Gavin, I swear to God, I will obliterate your sternum. Please don't. You look like fucking cockyoing. <laughs> I'll look like a donut. <laughs>
and breathing into a mic. Not the greatest of situations. Oh, stop. Ariel, if you were asked to talk in a uh, dialect or um, do a skit in a dialect or uh, accent, give us, give us an example of what you would do. Well, yeah, but like, I'm like, don't say what you're gonna do. I mean, actually do it, Gavin. Well, I guess we're no. doing. Listen here, small comrade. If you keep being a capitalist pig and breathing into the mic, I swear to, I swear to God, I swear to God, I will fucking obliterate you. I will take your soul okay. and throw it into a chair and then take that chair and beat your soul to death with it. No, 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 please. Stop breathing into the mic, comrade, and we won't have to fucking get rid of you like we did the capitalist pigs. Well, that was weird. <sighs> this is going great. And again, we're still waiting for votes to come in since we literally have... Well, yeah, but I mean, there's more people watching now, so I'm asking them to vote for the next game that I, that we play via stream. So, My Hero Academia, Sunset Overdrive, or Metal Gear RR, new viewers. And they fucking left. Damn. <laughs> We're gonna have to, I guess, set a world record for the world's shortest hand and talk podcast at 51 minutes. Yes, the longest one was, I believe, three hours, one minute. So yeah, guys, uh, rip the stream. This is obviously my computer's fault and its inability to do anything correctly. And also Gavin's fault. And also Gavin's fault for breathing into the fucking mic. Yeah. Did you mute yourself? Deafen yourself so you couldn't hear him or some shit? I muted Gavin. Dang. He muted you, Gavin. Stop being a little shit. That's hilarious. <laughs> Sorry, then I made my mistake. So, Gavin, inquis Inquisitor of Memes, do you have anything to, lo any last words before we cut this one short? Ariel, do you have anything else to add? Any declarate at declarations of war? <laughs> well, uh, I guess again, if anyone wants to declare war while I type up the credits. I mean, yeah, but I do this anyways. <laughs> well, let's hope next time that we try to do with hand to talk, it won't fucking end in the fiery blaze of technical difficulties for 45 minutes, because that would suck. Ah, uh, oofer game. Uh, it won't be Friday, I'll tell you that. Uh, in order to schedule for a special guest, it may be Saturday. So yeah, be sure to check that out. Also later today, whichever one gets the most votes, which looks like since everyone voted for each individual game that I'm just going to have to choose myself, that will be streamed later today and this week. So, I guess, watch out for the notification, and check that. Because that's gonna be wacky, depending upon what game it is. I'm kinda leaning towards Sunset Override at the moment. Yay! Well, I mean, I'm gonna... 
I'm gonna play them all, but it's a matter of which one comes first. Nope. Still typing out the credits. So, like, after this, do you guys just want to, like, go to the island? Yeah, same here. Yeah. You guys want to go to the island and gaming? Where you guys guys want to go? Uh, I'm going to go have some fucking food. Because I've been up since nine. So have I. Also, I'm now going to amaze the populace by stating I went and bicycled for, like, probably a mile and a half. I know. Someone thinking. It's impossible to think that I'd actually be fucking like healthy or some shit and do exercise or some shit. But yeah, so for today's wacky credit, uh, fucking communistic bullshit buggy software goes to OBS for setting the stream back an entire 45 minutes because, yep. And still no one has voted, so I guess it's up to me. Uh huh. Why can't I fucking. It's, the game's not letting me. Uh, well, stop me. Like, that's why I just stopped. Unfortunate. But, yes. Uh. Au revoir for now. Arrivederci. All the words. Sayonara. Uh. That's it for today. Freaking. Blame OBS for only getting an hour of candid talk. Peace out.